GTF Kisa was good. Another day, another video. GTF was going on, man. GTF was going on. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. Chirp. If you woke up this morning, you are most definitely blessed, man. What's good, man? What y'all got going on, man? Hope everybody out there being productive on this Saturday morning, you hear me? It ain't even Saturday, you hear me? It's Saturday. That's how you gotta say. You gotta say Saturday, you hear me? Not Saturday. Saturday morning. What's good, though, man? We on the road with it, man. It's currently morning time, so I guess we, um, I was just on live, actually. And, uh, that's why I like getting on live sometimes with the GTF, you feel me? Because when I get on live with the GTF and they be in the comments communicating, with a brother, you hear me? We come up with good, you know what I'm saying? Just by the conversations that we having, we come up with great ideas. So basically, this morning I'm on live and boom, a cheat code idea comes to mind. Uh, well, actually somebody mentioned it. I can't remember the name, but somebody mentioned it in the comments, you know, about putting this and putting this and that together. You feel me for a cheat code? And I'm like, damn, that's a banger, right? That sound like a banger right there, you hear me? So now, guess what? We on our way to do a cheat code. And of course, this cheat code requires going to two places, you feel me? If you don't like going to two places, then I don't know what to tell you, you feel me? I don't mind doing it, you feel me? It ain't like I'm walking to two places. I'm in a vehicle going to two places. But yeah, this cheat code requires going to two places. Um, so that's what we got going on this morning, you feel me? We're going to do a cheat code today. Uh, it is still morning time, so this is going to be like basically like a breakfast cheat code. You understand me? Um, for, for those out there, man, for all the people out there that, that be wondering about ZB, ZB ain't with me this morning, man. That boy pulled the double last night, Jerb. ZB pulled the double last night. You know, that boy trying to get his money up, you feel me? And I understand him. He trying to get his money up because he got a lot of responsibilities to take care of. I be talking to ZB about handling his responsibilities. So, yeah, that boy pulled the double last night. So, this morning when I hit him on the phone, I was like, yo, ZB, what's good? You feel me? Like, man, he said he ain't gonna come out right now. He said he, he got to get some Z's, you understand me? So, he pulled a double last night at Amazon, man. Feel me? Them boys had that boy slinging them boxes. But it's all good though, man. Shout out to the homie, man. Shout out to ZB. Saying let that boy get his rest. But yeah, fam, that's what we got going on, man. We on the way to uh this uh so the first place we going to is McDonald's for this cheat code. So that's where we headed, man. Lego! All right, fam, we pulling in right now. There we go, fam. We had the Mickey D's, yeah. We had the Baratata. All right, fam. We got the grub. First stop accomplished, Jeremy. First stop was Mickey D's. This is a two stop cheat code. You feel me? You got to go to two different places to do this cheat code. But I ain't even going to lie to y'all. You feel me? You go to these two stops and do this cheat code. I believe it's going to be fa. You hear me? So we on our way to the second stop. Let go. All right, fam, we pulling up right now. Second stops, Popeyes, yeah. Y'all already know Popeyes with the second stop. But yeah, this is a cheat code, so I know y'all already thinking this got to involve Sweet Heat because I'm pulling up the Popeyes, and y'all know that I'm the Sweet Heat bandit, yeah. But no, nah, this cheat code don't involve, don't involve um, Sweet Heat today, man. You feel me? We pulling up right now to the drive-thru or the board, yeah. All right, fam. Second stop accomplished, Jeremy. We got the grub. You feel me? Now it's about time to get ready to put this cheat code together. You understand me? All right, fam. Time to set up Grub Tent Mobile Studios. Y'all know how we do. Um, my mask, my wipes. But yeah, fam. Um, I ain't gonna lie, dog. Make it easy. Mickey D's don't play no games either. Well, I got so basically this cheat code 
is going to consist of the Mickey D's. One of the, one of the part of the cheat code is the Mickey D's uh, sausage. I ordered a, a side of sausage from Mickey D's, man. A side of sausage from Mickey D's was three seventy nine. You know, a lot of these Mickey D's too. You know, they owned by different people, so some of their prices be different at certain Mickey D's. Some of their prices be different. Some Mickey D's sell upcharge higher for their items or what have you. Uh, yeah, this Mickey D that I went to, they charge three seventy nine. Hold on, what did we see there? Three seventy nine for a so for the side of sausage. Well, it wasn't 379, it was 329. Plus tax and everything, 353. My bad, 353 for one single sausage. No biscuit, no nothing, just a single sausage by itself. 353 is the receipt if you want to verify. You understand me? I don't know if y'all can see that clearly. Uh, hold on. Well, I don't know if y'all can see that clearly. You know, the sun, the sun blazing right now, but 353 is the total for one single sausage that's crazy to me 353 for a piece of sausage sausage ain't nothing but yay big you feel me like yay like yay big you feel me that's crazy to me bro and on top of that too here's another thing too i don't know if mcdonald's gonna see this but here's one thing i think y'all need to work on you feel me anybody out there that know mickey d's send us to mickey d's let them know what let them know what's going on but i went to mcdonald's i got there like at 10 25 so I figured, like, you know what? It was a few cars in front of me. By the time I get to the window to order, it could possibly be 10.30. Then they're going to try to tell me, oh, you feel me? Uh, oh, breakfast is over. So I like, you know, in order to beat that, what I did was I placed the order on the app. I placed the order on the app according to the email that I got at 10.27. Then when I get to the window, it's kind of like they still try to give me the argument about breakfast is over. No, breakfast is not over. I mean, that applies to anybody that orders after 1030, but I ordered through the app. So if my order was placed before 1027, how can you tell me that breakfast is over? So, you know, you know, I spoke, I explained myself or whatever, then they gave me the sausage patty. But like, you feel me? Like people shouldn't have to, if my order was placed before 1027, I'd have placed before 1030. Like, you feel me? Like breakfast is over. Doesn't apply to me. No matter what time I get to the window, but I placed the order on the app at 1027. The only reason I'm a, I'm arriving at the window after 10:30 is because y'all moving too slow. You understand me? Y'all moving too slow. Y'all got these cars backed up in the drive-through. That is not my fault. That is y'all fault. You feel me? Get you get you a little more staff in there or what have you. You feel me? I've been seeing little McDonald's articles been popping up on my phone talking about they laying off people. Obviously, y'all need to hire more people because y'all moving too slow on them drive-throughs, bro. And I'm just keeping it real with y'all. You understand me? But anyway, fam, we gonna get into this food. Got to pour one for the GTF. Alright fam, we done put this cheat code together. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. It's like the smell of the strawberries from this biscuit. The smell, it tastes, it smells good, bro. It smells like it's like that aroma just hitting you, bro. Like that strawberry aroma in these biscuits. Like fam, look at this. I already took a bite out of it for the short form video, but that aroma in that strawberry biscuit, man, it smells so it smells good, bro. But y'all already know, I did a video before, well, in one of my long form videos, I had the strawberry biscuit, but this turned out to be a cheat code today. Like I said, I was on live today. I forgot the homie name, but somebody mentioned about doing a cheat code. And somehow, you know, the whole idea came about with the doing a cheat code with a sausage patty and the uh, strawberry biscuit from Popeye's. So I went to McDonald's first because McDonald's breakfast ends at 1030. So I went there and got the sausage patty right quick and then Popeye's opens I didn't even know Popeye's open at 10 you feel me so Popeye's open early as hell so technically Popeye's kind of like open for breath but, but really all they selling is chicken you feel me but but yeah Popeye's so I went to Mickey D's I got the sausage patty about 10 27 I was placed that order got that then I went to Popeye's shot over to Popeye's got the strawberry biscuit so I whatever now I put the whole situation together you feel me you got to watch the short form video to see the actual cheat code come into play you understand me but basically I put this thing together you feel me sausage patty in between strawberry biscuit hit that bit mmm mmm Mm. Fam, this is most definitely worth a try. Most definitely. Oh, boy! 
feel me? I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it's on point. Um, ain't no secret that the McDonald's sausage patty are a, bit, are a bit salty, but you know, for some reason, we like them, we still eat it. Now, the Popeyes um, strawberry biscuit, this was nice, this was warm, soft, you know, it's freshly made. So this is warm, the biscuit is warm, soft, and sweet. Now the sweetness from the strawberry biscuit and the uh, saltiness, it's like it's a battle, basically. The sweetness of the strawberry biscuit versus the saltiness of the sausage patty. It's like it's a battle. And when these two forces clash, the taste is phenomenal. The taste is phenomenal. I ain't gonna lie. It's like it's like it's a battle. You got the sweetness from the salt. You got the sweetness on this side. You got the sweetness of the strawberry biscuit on this side. You got the saltiness of the uh, sausage patty on this side. Now, when you take that bite, it's like them two forces clash. Boom. You feel me? Them two forces clash. And boom. People walking by looking like, bro, where you know me from, bro? I got tips on my car. You looking like, bro, we won't do that around here, bro. But anyway, yeah, the two forces clash. Boom. And you just taste that. You just taste that. That clash and taste together. It's, it tastes good, fam. You definitely got to try. It's definitely a must try. Definitely a great cheat code, fam. Most definitely a great cheat code. Strawberry biscuit with the sausage patty. It doesn't have to be the McDonald's sausage patty. Wherever you want to get a sausage patty from. It is most definitely worth it. Most definitely try that out, fam. No cap, you heard? Hit the be again. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. Popeyes need to keep the strawberry biscuit around year round. Staying fire. Staying fire. The Popeyes um strawberry biscuit, I think it's like a dollar something. I paid three dollars for a sausage patty from McDonald's. I don't know why it's so much for a sausage patty. That's crazy. So in total, it was still gruff for under half a dub. You feel me? But Popeye, but, but McDonald's is charging way too much for a sausage patty. No cap. But yeah, fam, what I had to talk to y'all today about is it's your chance to exit right now if you don't want to hear what I'm talking about. Today, I saw the latest episode of Power last night. And it's crazy. It is crazy. Monet is a cop killer, bruh. Monet is a cop killer, bruh. She set that thing up so crazy. She saw, she saw her daughter. I think she's just using her daughter. Monet doesn't really like her daughter. She used her daughter, you feel me? She know her daughter is vulnerable, you know, when it comes to, like, trying to get her mother's love because she feel like her mama don't care about her no more, especially with the whole Zeke situation, you feel me? So, you know, Monet going to act like, you know, she going to holler at her daughter, you know, make it seem like she care about her daughter. I think she really just using her daughter. So she used her daughter to help get, to lure the cop to Monet's house. So now they made it seem like it was a breaking and entering going on. Like the cop was an intruder. Cause you know they already had them built the picture up of the cop being like of harassing Monet them. You feel me? They already built the reputation of this cop harassing. So you feel me? So basically what she did, like she gonna get away with it. She killed the cop. So it's like the cop was breaking and entering in the house. Monet came and shot the cop. She knew, you feel me, what she was doing. And she shot the cop. You know, the cop was like, he was doing too much. He was doing too much and he got himself murked. You heard? Now who knows though, you feel me? Like sometimes in these shows you might think somebody somebody dead and then later on in the show it turns out that the person survived and that they don't know. But as of right now, Monet's a cop killer, but she killed the cop and basically it's self-defense the way the whole situation was was orchestrated, you understand me? But that's crazy. And then now Tariq them, you feel me? They making that money, they moving that, they moving that dope, you feel me? So they moving the dope on the false bottom of false false bottoms of coffee cups, you know, within the uh that Wall Street building or whatever they want to call it. You know, they moving that dope and uh, they making money hand over fist. And uh, now all of a sudden now, the person who he working for, the person who got them moving the dope, wants them to move guns too. And first they was like, nah, we don't want to move no guns. We don't want to deal with no guns. But the person was like, yo, you're taking over for Mecca. And Mecca used to sell guns for us too. Now you either going to move these guns or it's going to be pressure. You feel me? They ain't saying it in them worries. I'm just giving it to y'all. You feel me? From my point of view, I'm just explaining it to y'all from my point of view. So he's like, if you don't move these guns, it's going to be pressure. So now Kane and his brother said, okay, you know what? We'll take care of the guns. Tyreek them can move the, the dope, you know, through the whole Wall Street thing. 
So now you feel me? Um, the brother, Kane's brother, went and uh, orchestrated the whole situation of the guns getting moved, and they were supposed to send it to some, sell it to some some militia guys. So the militia guys came, some racist militia. So they came to get the guns. So the so the militia guys were racist. So they had to use a white face to sell the guns. So they used Braden to sell the guns to the militia guys because they wasn't gonna buy from no blacks because they were racist or something to that effect. That's how the show goes. And uh, Braden sold the guns. They gave Braden the money, so now Braden took off. So now the militia guys, they follow Braden to the to the hotel where Braden went to give the money to Kane and his daddy. So now while they in the hotel, you feel me? The militia guys had to follow. Now here comes, boom, here comes the militia guys trying to be, you feel me? Y'all got y'all guns. Instead of taking off, y'all want to be, you feel me? I want to do dirty business. So now you want to get the guns and to get your money back. So they follow, you know what I mean? Braden to the hotel. They try to, you know, they try to pull a move on them boys, but them boys had the ups on them. Them boys shot them boys up or whatever. I think one of them survived. One of the militia guys survived, but for the most part, Kane and his daddy killed the majority of them that came. You understand know me? One of them survived. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. And then Lauren, she's still trying to figure out how long she's going to have to stay in hiding because it turns out Lauren ain't dead. You feel me? Effie is talking about getting out of the business eventually. So now Tariq is talking about getting out of the business eventually. You understand know me? It's crazy right now. Oh, and then RSJ, the billionaire guy. Uh, they told t the people from the um, building that Tariq is doing the internship at. They told him, like, if you don't get the man told him, if you don't help us sign RSJ, which is the black billionaire, we're going to revoke your internship. So now uh, Tariq had to think, think of a way or whatever the case. And it turns out that RSJ was interested in, in the Queen's Child's project that was being built by Tariq's daddy for... The daughter that passed away, you understand me? So, so Tariq orchestrated something where if 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 RSJ signs with the firm, he'll give him the Queen's Child Project building or something to that effect or something like that. So basically, yeah. So those are like the main points that's going on in the show right now. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know what's going on with, with with Monet' daughter. What's her name again? I forgot her name on the show, but she tripping like she messing around with this dude now. I ain't gonna lie, she all over the place, bro. She need help. She need help. I forgot her name on the show. Kane's sister. Whatever her name is. She need help. Now she messing around with this dude. You feel me? I don't even like the dude for her, to be honest. You feel me? I don't like that dude. I just don't. That's just my opinion. You feel me? But yeah, man. That's basically what's going on in the show, man. If you seen it, man. If you seen the episode, man. Let me know what you think about it, man. Drop them comments and let me know. Yer. But yeah, fam. Most definitely, man. Check out this. Uh, do this cheat code right here. Get your sausage biscuit. I mean, not a sausage biscuit, a sausage patty, and put it in between the Popeye's um, strawberry biscuit and try it out. Let me know what you think. For me, it's fire. It's fire. You heard? But yeah, fam, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. We're going to go ahead on and get out of here, man. Till next time, you heard? GTF for life.